In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create shape tweens. You'll begin by using your poly star tool and changing your settings in the properties area with options to create a three-sided polygon, which will be a triangle. Notice that I have a blue line around this. That means that my object drawing is turned on. I don't want that. I'm going to select Modify, Break Apart, and then it's a shape. You have to use a shape for doing shape tweening. If it has a blue line around it, it's not a shape, it's an object. In frame 60, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. I'm going to again choose my poly star tool. I'm going to change my options to star and I'm going to do a five-sided star. I can also first turn object drawing off and I can change colors at the same time. To create a shape tween, I'm going to right click and select Create Shape Tween from Layer 1 in the timeline. I can test this by hitting Enter. You'll see that the triangle converts into a star. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to delete Layer 1. And this time I'm going to do create a line drawing, something a little bit more complex. I want to show you some of the problems that can occur when you're creating a shape tween. So I'm going to draw the outline of a very, very simple flower type shape. I'm going to fill it with a color. And notice it's not filling, so I'm going to use close large gaps. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush tool and create a center for my flower shape. Not the most beautiful flower, but not particularly important for this exercise. I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. And I'm going to draw petals on the, the base here. As if they had fallen off the flower. And I will fill each one of these with color. I'll create a shape tween. And this is what I'm trying to demonstrate as far as the problems with shape tweens. It will translate into those shapes, but it doesn't give the effect that I would actually want of petals turning brown and falling off. Also, look at how the lines confuse things. Generally with shape tweens, you'll get a cleaner effect
if you delete all of the lines once you've drawn your shape. It's not quite as bad, but to truly get the effect that you would want, anything that you want to convert needs to be on its own layer. So let me draw a simple flower again. This time I'm going to turn the drawing objects on, or object drawing on. I will draw each one of my petals as a separate figure. And it's okay if they overlap. So now each of these should be a complete and separate shape. I can fill each one Oh, first I have to mo move them to their separate layers. I did that out of order. I can do a modify timeline distribute to layers. That will put each one on a separate layer. I can delete the original layer because it's empty. And then I can select, and it's easiest if I work in these one at a time so that I can make sure that they're filled. For each one I'm going to want to select Modify, Break Apart. I want it to be a line, I don't want it to be an object. I need to make sure that each one completely closes. and then I will be able to fill them. Okay, so now I have all of my petals here in the flower. I would still want to draw a center. Potentially, if I was going to make this really authentic, I'd have a stem, I'd have a center. I'm not going to really worry about this. Now, in each of the last frames, I'm going to just insert a keyframe, not a blank keyframe. And again, I can select and do that in all of them at the same time. And again, I find this significantly easier if I hide the layers that I'm not working on. So here, if I want it to be a falling leaf at the end, I would change its position. I would change its color. And I would slightly change its shape.
because it shouldn't be in exactly the po same position as when it started to fall. And I could do that for each individual petal. One at a time. And generally with shape tweens, subtle is best. And I may also wish to add a little rotation to some of these. And I can add a shape tween to all of these just by selecting and choosing create shape tween. And you can see that they sort of fall apart. Now again, I left the lines in here because they really look better without them and I wanted you to see both ways. If you get rid of all of the lines, you'll see a much smoother transition. And I'll need to do that at both ends. And you can just double click on the line itself, delete, delete. And now it'll be a much smoother falling shape, which is really the effect that I was looking for. So the key things when using a shape tween, they work better if you delete the lines, keep them simple, and make sure that each transitioning shape is on its own layer to get the results that you expect.